started drawing more or less uh, when I was born. <laughs> they gave me a pencil and I drew something. Yeah, it's been on me since I was very, very little. And something I found out about drawing, which drawing is my favorite discipline, if you, if you may. I like every type of art, really. Um, but drawing is something I just, uh, I can't avoid it. I just have to draw. <laughs> you know, I have a blank piece of something in front of me. And I just have to draw it. It's amazing. Uh, to me, it's really, it's really an expression. I feel like art is really a, a universal language. It's another form of, of expression. And you can say more been, than what you can. You can words. say more. Yeah. 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 You can say a lot of things. I've never been so good with words, so I, <laughs> I always like draw to express myself even to myself, if that makes sense. Many times I don't know why, what's going on with me and I draw it and I can see things that go inside of me. And I'm like, oh, look at that. What does it feel like for you to be given the opportunity to express in art somebody's essence or part of their story? Well, that's, that's great. That's really a, almost a responsibility. As you say, as you say, everyone has its own story and everyone also lives it as he or she can. So it's a very, very powerful thing, very important thing. And I'm sure many people in your life have been very moved looking at art that is your expression of them because they don't get to see that. They're seeing through your eyes, not just through their own. Mm. Yeah, well, that's, that's a huge thing, really. If I am able to achieve that, it's a very, a very nice thing, really. I hope it does, but it really is that. I hope it does. It's a, it's a huge thing. If I can help someone to see something inside he or she because of my art and because of my feelings and the things that go out from me, it really adds a lot of, of value to what I do. It really does. If I'm able to achieve that, it's like triple the value to me of the art I do. Fulfillment. Yeah. Thanks to Nat and John also that are really like giving me the, the opportunity to be free just to do my art. I can really get to that point where I can express with a more like more pure in a more pure way and I just love doing these doodles where there's like kind of a storytelling inside of them there's things going on there are many abstractions that may not mean anything to you but there are there are other things that they tell you something and it's up to you if you want to get the message or not if you are prepared to to get it or want to get it want to the same as when you want or do not want to listen to something somebody says to you, yeah, the same things goes here. It can be just an appealing picture or maybe a, eh, a drawing, or you can really take something from it. I, it's really what, what I, uh, how can I say it? What I want to achieve with my art is that, really. Okay, so are you able to try to explain where the ideas come from? Do you have a, a recognition of what is in your hand and what is in your mind, or is it just literally flowing? Like, how could you best describe where an idea or the, the next idea, like, do you plan something or is it just always in the flow? Well, that's a, a good question. It depends on what do I have to draw? The, the, how can I say, the more free, the freer I am, the, the more flow I can get to it, you know? If I'm drawing to myself, it's just like my hand is drawn. I do not think, I do not know how my hand do or does some of, it, of the things I do. And that's amazing. Many times I look to a drawing after, I don't know, weeks or months, 
and I go like, who did this? <laughs> I don't even know how that occurred, how that appeared, you know, in a paper. And, and that's great. Uh, we're really getting there with John and Matt. Uh, to me, that's an honor. That's something that's amazing. It's really a flow. You ask me what is going to go to come out in that paper, and I really don't know. I don't know. So I just put a line to break that sense of I have to do something good. I just throw a line, and that's it. I start. Yeah, I love it yeah. because there is. It is, you know, we are believers of collective consciousness, and you just happen to be the instrument um, of the collective consciousness that help people see more. Um, you know, your storytelling ability, you know, your art, your drawing is, it's your music, it's your joy, it's your fulfillment. Um, the, I can see that when you have that freedom to do that, and like you say, take the responsibility of, of expressing that for somebody else. Um, I don't know, my heart is, is like, you know, filled for you as well. Wow, yeah, I really feel with my heart filled and I... It's really nice from you, Jody, to say that to me. It's a lot. <laughs> I'm really glad that you feel that way because it's really, it's really what I'm trying to do. It really feels like it's useful, you know? Because being an artist, very many times, even if you are successful or not, you really feel like you want to do something that's, that's useful to other people. You don't want to do something that's on a wall, hanged on somebody's place, and I don't know. You charge money for that, for for that, and just a, a good thing to look at. At least for me, being an artist is also the responsibility to be be able to feel those kind of things and be able to put it down on a paper, for example, and share it to the rest of the world if possible. <laughs> Are you able to describe the type of art that you naturally do um, versus maybe say if you're contracted to do, like I know you have done some children's illustrations, et cetera, which is a different sort of style, but the yeah. art that you enjoy the most doing, are you able to describe or does it have kind of a label of how you would describe it? One label for the art I like the most would be surrealism you know, like Dali did, but in a, in a more graphic way. In, I don't know if, I'm, if I think about Dali, for example, which it was a master for me yeah. for many years. It also has a lot of technique to it, very good technique. And I, and I feel technique uh, many times, like it's a, a kind of an obstacle to this flow we were talking about just now mm -hmm. so I also like to I like to use the technique and not the technique to use me if that makes any sense absolutely I want the flow the technique to support the flow to be able to say more things with my drawings with a better technique to be able to to get the idea I want to, to get out closer to what I really want it to to be if that makes any sense yeah, I'm, I'm seeing oh. images in my mind of the Dalis that I learned in school lots and lots of years ago. But I would always yeah. see the, it to me, a, a, a Dali type of description or a surrealism type of description is the stories within the stories within the stories. So it's almost yeah. like you can, you can look at one whole and see one story. But then as you look closer, you see more story, more story and more like layer, layer, layer in each part, be, probably because yeah. of the technique as well, yeah. Exactly, and there's a, real, a realism to it. You know, you see figures that you recognize, you know, that total abstraction, and I like that too, yeah. because it's like the universal language, you know, it's what everybody sees. We all see the same, I don't know. Apparently. Yeah, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> but you know, a dog is like four legs, a tail. Yeah. So I like to use realism in my art, but I really like to break it down like, yeah, like a dream, you know? So I, that's the style I like the most. I can adapt it to another thing, but that's the style I, 
feel more more comfortable. Excellent.